I just heard you describe that as a proper table, Charlie. Yeah, when you asked me earlier on over breakfast, David, what are my favourite pieces here? Yeah, yeah. These are my favourite pieces, and I'll explain why. These two objects. This cooler. Oh, oh. Later liner. Oh, Charlie. I mean, just look at the reflections on that mahogany. I mean, it is just delicious, isn't it? Just as you want it, David. Oh, my God. Original finish, original patina, oh my original goodness. casters. Oh, Charlie. Not the original liner, I'm afraid. But so this dates to what, the early part of the 19th century? Yeah. And then it dries. See, there's the original liner. I even kept it because I couldn't bring myself to oh, take the lead out. Of course you did. And then I had this handmade just to fit in. Did so, you really? Yeah. Did you? Really? It's that special, actually, isn't it? That it, it, it warrants. That's 800 pounds just to have that made. Of course. But you've got to put a proper thing in. You've got to put a proper thing in. Look yeah. at the colour, Charlie. We talk about colour and yeah. patination in these videos a lot. That is about as good as you will ever get, isn't it? Yeah, I had a pair a few years ago. We took to Masterpiece and we put, Rusty put lots of flowers in them. Yeah. They were the best planters you can imagine. <laughs> I prefer to fill them up with bubbles. Well, well yes, of course, of course. <laughs> that is very special. And it is a similar sort of period to your... Exactly the same. It is, it is isn't yeah. it? Early 19th. Early 19th yeah. century. To, as everyone knows me really well, knows that I'm absolutely in love with Gillows. It, it you know. epitomises the best quality timbers from all over the world. Of course it and does. And please note everyone, when they bought timber in those days, they didn't have the carbon footprint of a huge engine. That's very they true. They, sailed, they sailed it across yeah. the Atlantic. Um, and it epitomises the, the design team and the quality of the craftsmanship. And look at the lion paw just thing. sensational. <laughs> this to me is the ultimate. It really it's is. It's the earlier periods. And then have, I have to show you, your viewers, oh, it's so heavy this, it's all on mahogany. Look at that top, but look at the face. Right, I'm going under. I'm going under, Charlie, because look that... Look at the power of it. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness gracious me. So that is in the cut brass. Just it. I but melt when I look at things like I, this. I, I think that is as good as it could ever be. Pretty good there, don't you? And I think it sums up Britain of the early part of the 19th century. I think it sums up the power. Built to last. Built to last, the yeah. quality, the hope, the aspiration yeah. and the expectations Absolutely. of just the very best. And that is the very best. I am a furniture man, Charlie. And for me, that is just heaven. It's delicious. Look at this back carving in. <sighs> just look at it. Oh, Charlie. And that, to me, fits in any modern setting. Of course it does. But it's just this, when I see this stuff, which I rarely see now, yeah. I melt. This is why I've been in the business so long. Yes, of because course. Because I just melt when I see this. And it keeps you in the business, Charlie. It keeps just. you charged up. Yeah. Okay, I would have a home for this in my hallway, but I've got to, I know that I can't afford it. If I could afford it, I would have it. How much is it? Why can't you afford it, David? I'd like to be a pound behind you. <laughs> oh, listen, Charlie. <laughs> £65,000. Go and get one made new. 